The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. <laughs> this is uh, Joke Me Out with Nick and Sal. That's right. Get it? <laughs> it's kind of borders a land tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Yeah. This is my impression of the kid from Modern Family. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I've never seen that. Is that, is, is, is that like yeah. that? It's my impression of the tiny kid from Nacho Libre. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to go. All right. Is, is he good? I'm good. All right. Oh, yeah, I can hear myself better now. Woo. A little bit of silence. I'm going to fade from fade out to black. Then I'll we're going to do a... Uh, <laughs> we're going to do a joke intro of another podcast. So it's... it's it, they'll get it. They'll get it. Okay, so it's gone to black. When it comes up from black, that's when you start. You're going to introduce... Welcome to the Pretending to Care <laughs> podcast <laughs> with uh, Anthony K. Krista Shera. Mexican impression. I hate El Roberto. How does it, I don't even know how it goes. I don't either. Uh, does it end with a <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the set of the Jungle Book. Uh, we have a we have a guest today uh, on our first video podcast. This is uh, this is Nick Aragon, everybody. Yay! Thanks Yay. for having me. This is going to be amazing. Where's that dog at? We need an audience. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is outside. It's outdoors. Yeah, this is the outdoors edition. <laughs> this is crazy because yeah. Saul said we were going to get cheeseburgers, <laughs> and uh, now I'm doing this weird video podcast thing. Oh, we're um, still getting cheeseburgers. Okay, that's there's I just sidetracked. Okay. To other to stuff, doing, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to doing the safari. We interview. just wanted to find out your range, what you're willing to do, really. <laughs> yeah. To get a cheese, all right, yeah. yeah. All right. You guys are lucky. I have no friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're lucky because it go it goes from rainforest, and then when you start talking, it goes yeah. uh, yeah, it goes I'm, Batman's I'm, cape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on location at the Bat Cave right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. This is, uh, uh, Nick. So you know, friends. Who are you going to see Don John with then, tonight? Then. Oh, uh, a friend of mine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my one friend. T- 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 telling people, are you, go- are you going with Vigil? I'm going with Vigil. Yeah, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. You going with Vigil? <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm going with Vigil. That's sexy. You go watch a movie about masturbation <laughs> with Vigil. With Vigil. That's what that movie's about, right? He's like addicted to online porn. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think so. I, I don't know why I said online porn like that. You know, <laughs> he's, he's he addicted to like like live. old video he cassette porn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. This is pretty much. Third Rock from the Sun plot. I don't even know yeah. what's going on. I remember uh, watching that show and he always looked like he was going to cry. What is his name? JG, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Don't act like, like you don't know his name. Yeah, don't yeah. act like you don't well, know his I name. I always say GGL because that's what everybody says the in people. Uh, that's like girls G-G-L. say that. I. This has gone horribly so far. <laughs> well, you guys. Uh, okay. Get to your notes then. Yeah, I'll get to my, really get to my yellow notes. I really we just getting food, guys. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. It's not that weird. It's Look at this microphone. <laughs> Ever done a podcast where I have to hold my whatever? All right. It looks like you're interviewing us. Yeah. <laughs> the host Nick Aragon. Yeah. 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 This is my show. This is on show. the scene. On the scene. <laughs> Takes place where they bury bodies. <laughs> Bunch of shallow graves around us. With the Breaking Bad trailer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, this is Nick Aragon. He has how long have you been doing stand up? This is a stand up out of Stockton, California. Uh, December will be four years. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I always feel so new when everybody says they're, how long they've been doing it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. How, how long have you, you guys been doing it? Uh, three years. Three years and a couple months. A couple months. Yeah, like a year and a half. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fun yeah. times. So I dig it. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> So what made you guys want to do this outside? 
Like, 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 why'd you guys want to video your podcast <laughs> because and then do it outside? We like the scenery. Yeah. Like, you, you can't. You guys, it's bush, cold. It's, <laughs> it's cold out here. It's not that cold. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I feel like I I, there's like a like a, a beehive not too far from here that I'm having to worry about. There was a dog, a really the big dog, dog running dog around. Will be back. The, the dog, dog will, be back. will definitely be That's back. Our uh, new segment, sniff, sniffing nuts with uh, what is the dog's name? Happy or something like that? Uh, I don't know. Probably don't. I, I don't know, but they, we're we're doing a podcast, guys. You guys keep getting sidetracked. Okay, that's what's happening. Fine. Um, okay, so we're here with Nick Aragon, stand-up comedian out of Stockton, California, and I'm just going to ask you a few questions because this is how, this is how podcasting <laughs> works. This is how podcasting works. This is how outdoor podcasting okay, works. How, all right, I'm sorry to step on you guys' game. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry about it. We are, we are here. It's uh, revolutionizing yeah. podcasts. <laughs> we had a basement we would use. It, Having you know. them in front of bushes. <laughs> with a bunch of beer bottles. There's a bunch, there was like a motorcycle gang that drove by earlier. There's a big rig coming. Uh, There's a tractor yeah. coming right now. So you're, Oh, so here, you're, here we go. Hold oh, on. I called it. I called it. That's tractor. like a tank. What is that? <laughs> It's a it's a tank street sweeper, and it has a. <laughs> I feel like you guys owe me money for making me do this. <laughs> I feel like I'm entitled to some money. You only had to drive thirty miles. Yeah, only had to come thirty in miles. Yeah, in traffic. In because traffic. Of fire. Yeah, because there was a big fire in Stockton today. I guess. Where was it at though? I had no uh, it was at the port, or I don't, I don't know where exactly, but it was had both, all the freeways all backed up, and it was just a pain in the ass. And I was it's like, been like that for hours. Yeah. All right, this is a lot of setup. No jokes. What's going on? Well, where's say, where's I was, this like, going? I was driving on the freeway. Like, man, this it couldn't possibly get worse from here. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. Just read the Stockton record. Horrible fire. 30 dead. And they, they go, I don't know. I had to do a podcast. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that would be the underneath that. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> like, pretty horrible bad. podcast. Horrible, pretty bad. <laughs> Outdoors. <laughs> Local comedian says podcast on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, this guy's this guy funny. This guy's yeah. funny. Uh, That's why I like him. Uh, good guy. Where did you actually start stand up? Like, where'd you? Um, Sacramento. Start? I started in Sacramento. Uh, what venue? Uh, the first open mic I ever did was at Laughs Unlimited in Old Town, Sacramento. Really? Yeah, yeah. I lied and said I brought people so I could get up. And then um, <laughs> I got up and uh, I bombed like horribly. But I, I, was, I felt so good. Like it was so, so much energy and such yeah. a rush that I didn't realize I bombed. So I was like high fiving <laughs> people after the set. And you know, I'd driving home like just totally stoked. And then halfway home, I was just like, no, that didn't go well at all. Like looking back, <laughs> yeah. but it was worth it. The feeling of being like, oh, we'll try it again. When I was like, so. obviously I had no energy and I felt like I was going to throw up afterwards. Oh really? But, uh, I can't believe I just did that. Yeah. Do you remember your jokes that you went up with? Uh, a couple of them. Yeah. Do you still use some of them? No. Like, did you like, uh, no, no, they were all real bad. They were real bad. <laughs> I crushed my first time guys. Yeah. I bet you did. Yeah. I heard that. I heard that Chris Rock joke. What, what what Chris Rock joke? No, I'm saying like Chris Rock, he crushed his first time up, and then after that, no, it was Dave Chappelle. He crushed his first time up, and then the second time he went up, he ate a dick. Me and Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Crushing. Yeah, what's your time? first? What's your first time? Is that laughs? Yeah, laughs, laughs, laughs Okay. Yeah, because I, I like uh, I wanted to do stand up, and I didn't know where to go, so I just fucking Googled stand up Sacramento because I didn't know there was anything in Stockton. Mm-hmm. So then that's so laughs came up first. Yeah. 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 Wow. There was like there was nothing out here. I mean, what was out here? Jay Smith? That was out here? No uh, no thanks. Uh Yeah, yeah. No, I only did that one. I did the set there and after that I started going to the comedy spot and that's kind of primarily where I've been That was like up. your home club. Yeah, that was like my home club. Yeah. So. Do you and prefer doing uh, comedy in Sacramento? Um, well, I mean, I'll do comedy pretty much anywhere, I guess. I mean, I'm here. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you probably hit mics more than anybody around here. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. 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 You yeah, definitely around do. here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, you um, definitely do. But, like um, you're known for hitting mics really hard. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just uh, I don't have I don't have anything else to do, so I just do that. Well, I don't <laughs> have anything else to do. It's just the gas. Yeah. Getting around. I don't yeah, have enough is, money to go. That is a pain. You yeah. don't have. He's, he has kids. Mm-hmm. What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> you have a nice red sweater. I mean, you have a nice yeah. red sweater. Sweater, what? no friends. Wait, yeah, or what is this? Are we going to get to any other questions before no, you make no, me feel no. shitty about myself? Yeah, no, well, <laughs> you know what? You know what? Okay. Fucking, all right, hold on. <laughs> this is for my eyes only. All right? All right, what are you questions? This is what we're doing here. All right, uh. Talking current events? What? No, no, we're not talking current events yet. We're still we're still on fucking Nick Aragon, stand-up comedian out of Stockton, California. VH1. 
special. Started in Laughs Unlimited, Home Club, uh, Comedy Spot. Yep. All right? Uh -huh. Let's get to the core. In there. Let's get to right there, don't, you know? Don't touch the mics. We got yelled at beforehand. <laughs> no, that's his mic. Oh, that's, that's his, his mic. mic. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you actually, I want to know about your uh, trek to uh, New York. Oh, man. I, um... Yeah, I went to New York for a while, and uh, and I liked a lot of it there. A lot of it uh, was a little harder um, to get through, like the um, just to break into the scene there is just like impossible, and there's just so many scenes. I think they have like 2,500 comedians there, wow. so it's like it's crazy. And so it was just, and then uh, I came home, and then I went back to LA, and uh, I just I liked LA a lot, so I was thinking maybe I'd just go there. But I wouldn't rule out New York. I liked it a lot there too. I miss it sometimes too. How long did you stay there? I was there on and off all last year. Really? Uh huh. So. So what made you want to go? Like, what? What? I wanted what was the deciding factors to go. Like, because everybody says they want to go to New York, but you actually did it. I don't know. I just um. I don't. I think it was just that. I just did. I just wanted yeah. to go, so I just did. And so I just I, I booked a flight, and I uh, I didn't have anywhere to stay. So I was looking into like hostels. Wow. And I was kind of looking into like churches and stuff. That's dedication then, right uh, there. Uh, but then um. One of my friends, I was talking to him about it, and I got a hold of him, and he was like, you know, we have a friend that we went to school with who just lives there. You could probably stay with. <laughs> and that's what I did. It'd be hilarious awesome. if he was just like, no. Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> Fuck I'm going to sleep outside. No. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, You're like, but I'm going to be homeless. Absolutely no. not. No. no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine in zero degree weather. Hey, good seeing yeah. you again, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Panhandling like on the street. A giant bird just flew by. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind, don't mind Henry the bird. Okay, that's what he does. It's our mascot. It's, uh, it's like giant. the biggest crow I've ever seen. Joke, just joke me off, mascot. Uh, it's like the Lord of the Rings bird. Just <laughs> flew, flew by. Where are we? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I, we're technically not even on U.S. soil right now, so, uh, <laughs> so you can't tell. This is all on a raft, right? yeah. <laughs> international waters. So, um, when you were in New York, you were telling me that that you you stayed in a room with uh, with no windows. With no windows, yeah. <laughs> there was one window, but it was way like it had a really high ceiling and it was broken. And uh, during the summer, it was like it was like a hundred and one degrees and like some crazy humidity and I, I just wouldn't sleep i'd sleep like maybe an hour a night and it was just like slowly slipping into madness you know or like uh, like in the last batman movie in the pit you know like that's <laughs> what it felt like but um but uh, only you were like yeah, people chanting some, yeah 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 <laughs> old man just talking in another language yeah. all the time but hit uh, me in the back saying something's wrong with one of my discs yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, I met some of my favorite yeah. people ever out there, though. Uh, what like what encouraged you to do stand up? You just always wanted to do it, like. I mean, I'm not really good at anything else. I think is what it is. Uh, I'm not really that good at stand. I shouldn't. I shouldn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> but um, but uh, no, I I always liked it. I liked it a lot when I was a kid. I when I was a kid, um, my dad, we watched uh, Chris Rock's. I think it was Bigger and Blacker. I think it was that that special. It was one of his specials. And and I was watching with my dad, and he, and he was talking. You know, Chris Rock talked about some adult stuff, and yeah. he he was making me laugh so much in front of my dad, and it was like with stuff that I shouldn't even understand, uh -huh. you know. But it, so I think I don't know if it just made comedy seem like something like whoa, like it's this is like a little taboo or like this is a little weird, but it made me want to do that. And so it was just that, and then watching other specials, I like Seinfeld a lot, and then I first saw Chappelle. That was it, man. I was like, I want to be a stand-up. No, so no, that. yeah, that, that's what changed mine too. Mm -hmm. Chappelle yeah. was uh, his what was his nineteen ninety nine special. It was uh, uh, kill him softly. Yeah, kill him softly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how uh, old were you first time? I was twenty four. I did stand up for my senior project in high school, so I did it uh, one really? time. Oh, Bear Creek. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, I guess that would be my first time ever doing stand up. Then uh, it was I put on a show, at, at my school, and I did like I think like fifteen minutes, and um. And it went over well. I'm sure it was terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, looking back, it would probably be the worst thing to watch ever. But I put on a show. There was a couple other kids, surprisingly, who wanted to do stand-up as well. So I put them on my show, and some of them did bad. Some of them did good. It yeah. was, uh, it was a, oh, man, one girl, uh, she was so nervous before she went up that she threw up. Oh, like, nice. She got, yeah, she threw up, <laughs> a, like, just puked her brains out. And then she went on stage and bombed, and it was... 
It was like a quick glimpse of like, what it can be. It's like, well, at least I lost weight. It's that whole fucking eight mile scenario. Like, hey, yo, be rabbit. They call your name. Yeah, <laughs> she comes was, out, all right. Yeah. Yeah, was, that's good, man. That's, that's, so for his senior uh, project? Yeah, senior project. Man. Yeah. Well, see, I went to I uh, I went to Bear Creek for two years, and then I transferred over to Lincoln. We didn't have to do a senior project. Oh, there you go. We just like put your essays together, and that was it. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah. I had to do a senior project. It was fucking horrible. I hated it. Yeah. I had to do, lucky. We, we had to do it on bu- a book. We had to do it on books and shit. I don't even remember what I did. Books. Yeah, he's not all pissed off at books. <laughs> I'm upset with books. <laughs> books. <laughs> Fucking books. <words>. Uh, <laughs> stupid. So wait, what encouraged you to do stand up? What Nick? encouraged you? Yeah, 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 yeah. What encouraged you? Because you got him. It's we got this 20, motherfucker. Twenty six episodes, and we're finally getting to me. Yeah. Well, no, because <laughs> you, you do. You like what, what drives you, Nicholas? Yeah, I, I barely know you. No, actually, you know, um, my uh, my dad was. Fucking hilarious. He was always funny. Like, no matter what room he walked into, he was always making people laugh. And a lot of people always told him he should be a comedian. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, when uh, actually when him and my uncle would get together, they'd fucking kill everybody. Like, my aunt would just be dying all the time. Like, no matter no matter what they were talking about. So it's just when he passed away, it felt like that was something I wanted to do. I wanted to make people laugh like he did. So like, yeah. luckily your dad was funny. Like he could have been like a fucking carpenter, yeah, and or like, worked at Coles. I just want to work at Coles, you know. Just <laughs> 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 work up to assistant manager, and just hang out, yeah, yeah hang out just there. fucking thirty five k a year, you know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna talk about the uh, first time I uh, have ever awkwardly inter- interacted with uh, Nick Aragon. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, not proud of this. Uh, <laughs> It was like uh, my first year in a comedy, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna do 15 minutes at this place called Rookies." I think it was yeah, called Rookies in Manteca, yeah. Rookies in Manteca, mm-hmm. and uh, classic venue. Classic. Yeah, uh, and I was like really excited about it. it. Was back when I was really excited about comedy, like really like yeah, and it's yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever. And then I was just yeah, the, the poster went out. I was like, oh, Nick Aragon's headlining this. So I was like, oh, look at that guy. He looks cool. And then I got, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there with my grandma and my mom. We're eating burritos mm-hmm. at uh, at Tepa Taqueria mm-hmm. in in uh, right back where Mervin's used to be. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm eating a burrito and I'm like, oh. I've, Cause all the listeners know where Mervin's yeah, used to be. Of course, <laughs> of course, in Stockton. Uh, you guys remember Mervin's? Yeah. It's a Hobby Lobby now. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm eating a burrito, and I'm like, oh, look at this, that's that Nick Aragon guy. Yeah, I was I was there getting food. With, I think I was with Vigil. Were you with Vigil? It was, was it Vigil? I think it was Josh Vigil was with. I don't know who you're with, but uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to go. Up here, it was a good idea to be like, I'm going to go introduce myself. But then I was like, I was like, hey, you know, like it sounded fine in my head. <laughs> but then I went over there and it just words came out. And then his You're reaction. Like, Can I have your food? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why would you say that? Why would that be the first thing you'd say to me? It's so weird. No, it was like. he legitimately <laughs> wanted your food. <laughs> it looked good, man. It looked you just, good. You you, went, I thought you could shake my hand, but you just yeah. grabbing my food. <laughs> took it. No, it was like, hey, man, I'm so, I'm on the show. You're on Rookies. How's it going? You were like. No, I think you said something like, hey, you're that guy. It was something it probably real creepy was. Like It was that. something weird. It was yeah. like, I've been stalking you for a month. Yeah, no, I was like, okay, this guy, like. <laughs> this guy's going to hurt he's me. He's going to stab me, yeah. yeah. It was like, like, some, it was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something I did to someone else a long time ago is now <laughs> <laughs> finally coming back to me. Some Carlitos way type of. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a list and yeah. a gun. <laughs> Get carried out of the taqueria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Vigil too yeah. for no reason. <laughs> yeah, so you but then a similar experience that I had when I tried to talk to you. No, you uh, you was you said you supped me, sup, and you walked away. Oh, you big league you? <laughs> yeah. I did not big league him. I did not big league him. Uh, I was like, hey, how's it going? You're like, uh-huh. so. He just yeah. walked off. No, he didn't really big me. He was just like deuces and like <laughs> walked by. No, you didn't big me. I, it was more like, hey. You, you didn't even let go of your burrito. You, you had your burrito all the time. Yeah. You're like, hey. Well, I knew what was up. Yeah. I was like, all right, this, all right. this is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hit you with it and run away. <laughs> but. And then you were really standoffish at the show, yeah. too. You're like, you were like away from everybody. You're like, oh, fuck well, it. I don't know. I just get, because I, I think about like. People say that about me a lot, like I'm real standoffish, but I'm usually just thinking about my set or whatever. I'm never, I try not to be too much of a jerk. I mean, unless I don't like you, then I'll be a jerk, I guess. But but for the most part, I talk to whoever. It's just <laughs> I'm thinking about my set. I feel like I'm always way more social after my set's over because I'm not thinking about it anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, I think. 
I didn't big league you, okay? Oh, that, was, well, that was in the back of his head. He was like, well, no, I'm not <laughs> done yeah. talking like, about that. A lot of people don't realize that unless I know you or I'm starting to get to know you, I'm really just socially awkward. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So it's, but I try to, like, like, when somebody tries to shake, oh, you had a really good set, I was just like, I don't want to talk to you, but mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, it's just how I've always been. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I try to get you to call people or sometimes you're like, ah, I don't know. I'm not going to. No. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Why don't you call them? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm like, all right. I could, mm. I could talk to anybody. I just can't talk to Bill Collector. Do you have any idea how many times he's asked me for you to be on the podcast? Ten. 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 Jeez. And he was like, hey, How many episodes have you guys had? We've had 20. This is the 27th. 27th. Wow. Yeah. Well, and he's like, why, why, don't, he's like, yeah, why yeah. don't you <laughs> Why don't you call Nick? He's like, uh, uh, I don't want to like, bother yeah. him. Uh, he's he's going to say no. <laughs> no, no. Like, he's definitely going to say no. He's going to call me a faggot in the process. Yeah. So this is what's going to happen. He's like, really? You want me to do your podcast? Really? You want me to do your podcast? You do your podcast? Then he spits on me via through the telephone. The spit hits me in the face. You know how much better it would have been to get him on before this no, this is this is cool now. Look, the, yeah, this the is sun's what you, down. You want me to do this for ten episodes? Is come out here and this sticks with you guys. <laughs> this is trial run. This is a trial run. Yeah, it's just the. This can be okay. <laughs> after 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 this one, uh, this will be the only bad yeah. one. <laughs> after this, it'll be great. We'll get you back on episode one hundred. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> episode three hundred. <laughs> episode three hundred. <laughs> take place in the Mojave Desert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like under the sea and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, you just got done handlining Luna's. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it's it's a it's a workout room. It's it's a yeah, good. It's, it's like a, my favorite room. Yeah, now. it's really fun. It's the best. Uh, and you were just talking about how oh sometimes I don't I just like I don't talk to anybody. Think about myself. You were talking shit the whole time. To yeah, to you and <laughs> no, to like to people coming in. You're oh, like yo, fuck them, man, and make them pay dollars. <laughs> 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 I was like. I, Really thinking about your set then, yeah. huh? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. Just, just trying to have a good time headlining. I had, I felt like, uh, because I felt like the room was so low energy last night, and then I don't really like that if it's too low of energy, you know? So yeah. when people were coming, I would just try to yell stuff and <laughs> bring up the mood. Yeah, no, no, I, I get what you're saying. You're, you're going hard in the paint. Yeah, you're, you're, that's what you were doing. Uh, and Diego, Diego, uh, Diego sent me a text today. Diego <laughs> Diego, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's a beast to Diego. <sighs> You're just told like this. That's how I still I I'd still text T nine style. <laughs> look, look at this shit. Yeah, that's an old yeah, that's like an old <laughs> burner. <laughs> <laughs> Selling coke water. and shit. <laughs> and it explodes. <laughs> you play snake on this? What do you play? No, no, no. <laughs> like you could hit someone with this <laughs> if you needed to. No, that, that's seriously one of my different like I don't care about this phone. Like if I've already get attacked, like my first motion of attack was throw this phone at their oh, face. face. Uh-huh. And if it i I'm done after that. Uh, you can't even call for help after that. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's done. Just sort of accept my fate. Mm-hmm. Just like hope that like if I do get stabbed, like they just get fat. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You just laugh at them like some super villain. <laughs> <laughs> it's impervious to small knife stabs. <laughs> yeah. But no, but Luna's was fun last night. Yeah, I had a good time. It was a. Uh, I, I always have a good time in that room, and yeah, I like all the other comics that went up. So it's always a. It's, always a, fun it's a blast, show. and I'm glad it was a f- like a full room. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always nice to have a crowd there. <laughs> Look at the camera. It looks like conjoined twins. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah. there's, only, there's only so much room on this raft, so <laughs> you have to bunch in. You guys excited to put a table on it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to set it on fire pretty soon. Easy does it. Mm-hmm. Easy does it. <laughs> We've been traveling past this bush for like the past mm-hmm. hour. Mm-hmm. Coming up to Cuba soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Current events. Current events. Uh, are you familiar with current events? He's yeah, never listened to yeah, no, he, I, I forgot. I forgot. He, he's just like, yeah, I'll be on the show. I've never no, I've never right, listened right. to the show. I'm not gonna. Lie. It's not a diss. I just, I've never listened to mm-hmm. it. It's a complete diss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, yeah. well, current events. We just uh, basically like any other show. We just talk about current events and then talk shit on them. Okay. All righty. Current events. Uh, this week in current events, we got a two-year-old in Hao, China, named uh, Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng. Yeah, he was taken to the hospital after his parents noticed he had a. He had a bloated stomach, and he was uh, tr- had trouble breathing. Turns out he had a baby. In, his conjoined twin was inside his womb. Does that? It said it him. Just, I don't know. 
Can join Are twin you making and this up? <laughs> I, I wish I was. Just horrible at reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Inside of his womb. Uh, the world now knows. Yeah. He, he was pregnant with his own yeah, twin's fetus. He was, he was pregnant that's, with his own twin. That's what that the Huffington no Post. Uh, look, it's don't like blame me. Huffington stuff. Post. Uh, are you sure you copied this down correctly? Yes, I copied this down correctly. When you, like when you went to articles. the library <laughs> and you <laughs> logged on to I, their system <laughs> and you read the Huffington Post, it said that he was pregnant First of all, with it was his the, it was, own twin. It was the adult school library. Don't <laughs> fucking act like it's the public school library. <laughs> <laughs> we have our own computers. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. With, sure my, with my 10th grade education. Okay. It was two different news articles. He just mixed them up together. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some pregnant lady and he was reading well, about a baby. What well, they're saying, okay, so he was, he, his twin was just inside of him. Yeah. And it was just in his stomach. Yeah. Okay. In his womb. In his, his womb. There's no way he has a womb. I, it's, well, be, it's probably a girl. It's got to be a girl. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what. That's that's still crazy. So what Did he die? I, it didn't explain that part. It just said that they're. You didn't scroll down. <laughs> no, it didn't explain. Just the fucking. The <laughs> <laughs> he just read the title in like three sentences. Yeah. I, didn't know. Yeah. Just I just saw, saw the, a picture of a baby. Of a two-year-old baby and it had a lump right here. It was supposed to be the head. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just saw it was like sick baby. And you're like, wouldn't it be crazy if you yeah. just made up a story? No, okay. I w- no. no. <laughs> you wrote it word for word. I wrote it word for word. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, this is just rag on Saul yeah. Hour and his education, his lack of reading ability. <laughs> yeah, this is a new take on babies having babies. Babies having babies, huh? Babies like a slut. I said it. That's what I said. You said okay, you, so, but that was it then. That, that was all you read was that, and they were just like, they were like, oh yeah, baby has a baby inside of it, son of a bitch, and that was this, the end of the article. I Pretty like much. That was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me read this. No, no, don't read my chicken that, scratch. That is literally all you wrote down. All yes. Right. What else okay. am I supposed to write? I don't know the rest of the story. I feel like all right. Well, whatever. Okay. How do you feel about what I've written down? <laughs> is it too vague? Is it too vague? I for just you? feel like there was probably more to it, and you're not. You didn't probably had a surgery. Probably died. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. This all is right. for you and the audience, yeah. the three listeners: my mom, his mom, yeah. and then his his fiance. Mm-hmm. No, to figure out. <laughs> God damn it! No, you know. Neither who, does uh, my mom actually. You know who, so. uh, who I heard listens to this is Jamie Fernandez. Jamie Fernandez listens Sacramento to this. Sacramento comedian, comedian. Yeah, yeah. She listens to this show. That's what she told Aww. me once. Yeah, yeah. That right? makes me feel good. Yeah. See, so now you now you got to listen. I don't know who that is, but thank you very much. Uh-huh. Appreciate well, you it. just lost her. <laughs> 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 no, you just came listening. Okay. Uh, Okay, so what's the next? The, all right, because so the, the, the next that, one. That baby probably had a C-section, though, right? I... Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's when we need the drops. That would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. You should get a live Hacking band joke. to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, might as well have a lot. Just some guy with a guitar, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to just start hiring music. It's I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Show her. <laughs> right? <laughs> Me there too. Wasn't, there wasn't like, revenge porn back then. There away. wasn't revenge porn back then. <laughs> and no, I had this buddy that I'm going to get drunk and show her my I, dick. Yeah. <laughs> I, was working, I was working at, um, at Sa- well, no, I, it was a buddy of mine that I used to work with at Save Mart, and he's always been trying to get me drunk. I don't know, because he wanted to like, molest me or yeah, something. Yeah, he wanted to touch yeah. him stuff. Yeah, yeah, But no, he was always, because he's a big drinker, and he's always like, dude, you got to get drunk. Yeah. You yeah, got to get drunk. I'm like, no, I can't do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking alcohol is stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I just never do. And then, yeah, so. Back then, you talk yeah, like a valley girl. Like shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, went into his apartment, and him and his lady fucking got me fucking wasted. And there was another dude from Ooh. Save Mart there. And he started <laughs> Off touching of Jack you. Daniels. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a setup so he could touch The you. old man with the eye patch, he was just like all over yeah, me. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. well, and this he is pulled the eye patch like. back, and it was just condoms <laughs> that he kept there. So this is what it's like when you get drunk, right? <laughs> so it's kind of like, a, like a, a pack of playing cards that like, like, came yeah. out of his weird eye. No, Gross, God. Nick. It was all Jack Daniels. It was nothing but Jack Daniels. Wow. And that, that is a fucking hard Yeah, yeah. Especially for your first thing. time. Yeah, exactly. That is, that's rough. And I was like, ah. But I got pretty wasted, and uh, me and the other guy that was working at St. Mark, we had like a, like a, a fucking like a, like a dance-off. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, what is this? He just started doing yeah, this you know, <laughs> before uh, the explanation. Uh, he was like, oh, it's on now. He's <laughs> <laughs> had like a pop and lock uh-huh. and a fucking robot. And, we just, uh-huh. and then, yeah. And because he had Vomiting. His, yeah, his, uh, my, the buddy that got me drunk, his uh, kid was probably 
I want to say a little over a year or so, they had one of those baby gates uh -huh. along the hallway. Uh -huh. yeah. And trying to get over that to go to the bathroom every 10 minutes was a, was a fucking yeah, chore. Yeah. I fell three times. Uh-huh. On the baby. But I was like, it's cool, man. Fucking try. Who cares? Bro. You only live once, yeah. right? <laughs> YOLO. Baby. You were saying YOLO before YOLO. Was yell yeah. <laughs> YOLO. I fucking started that, man. <laughs> YOLO. Like, you need something to remind you that you only live one time. Yeah. It's starting to smell good all of a sudden. Yeah, it's starting to smell like barbecue. Yeah. Someone is cooking a human. <laughs> 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 that light got brighter as soon as I said that. You see that? Like creepy, man. You guys have, the, you guys have easily the creepiest podcast. <laughs> hey, hey we're theming it for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what this is. Yeah. I'm sure that's what this is. There's been a guy just in the bushes over there for like 20 minutes. He just keeps popping in and out. <laughs> I haven't said anything because I don't want to draw attention, but it's getting dark and I don't know where it's he the is. The guy with the iPad—that's just yeah. a ghost. The guy with all the condos behind his iPad. Yeah. yeah, fucking weird, man. Is he? And then the first time—the first time I got high, I was probably, probably around like 21, 22. Uh -huh. um, I never wanted to do it before because I went to something my uh, my lady used to smoke when she was younger, uh -huh. and she told me about. Like the all the times that she had like bad highs, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I don't ever want to do that. Shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. like doing that. I like to like my feet to be on the ground. Uh -huh. I don't like to feel weird like that. But uh, they, we moved out of uh, our place because we couldn't afford it, and we moved in with uh, friends, mm -hmm. and they were f they were stoners, like big time stoners, and they were always smoking. And they, I was like, whatever, might as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they convinced me to do it, and fucking took like bong rips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, again, just like uh, nothing, again. You do, <laughs> nothing you do on your fucking first time <laughs> thought, that you get high. And I, I was you, like, I was sitting outside. Eye patch, guys, you're, you're going to bomb say. it right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This fucking that's, hole. That's what I thought you were going to say. Like, and again, the old man was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where he kept his stash. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dime sack. He came out of there. It's sticky, but it's purple, the sticky stuff. <laughs> it's the sticky, icky. <laughs> keep buying it. And it, it keeps his patch on. He had a normal eye. I don't know what it was. It's doing that weird thing that making O's like it smokes yeah. coming out. <laughs> no, we were sitting on the. Uh, I was sitting with my lady outside, mm -hmm. and they were still in smoking, and I was just sitting there, and, and I had started to get that 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 yeah. wave feeling, uh -huh. that body high. Yeah, yeah. And it just kept coming up to my neck, and the next morning my neck was so sore. I think from doing like this all night, like. Oh. It, it probably had something to do with eye patch guy. We've been talking about. I, like I forgot. Was there really a guy with an eye patch? I can't remember. <laughs> no. <now. laughs> no, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, it's so creepy here. <laughs> it's so creepy. Uh, we won't keep you much longer. I'll just talk about the first time I've ever gotten high. Uh, it was on the way to a casino. Uh, I was 21. Dude, I, I've been gambling for about nine years now. Is that what this is going to be about now? Yeah. Yeah. This is going to get really sad. It's going to get really sad. Uh, no, uh, I was gonna, uh, it was after uh, a shift at, I don't even remember where I was working, but I was working somewhere, and we went to some guy's house. He was a drug dealer, and he had, like, weed <laughs> everywhere all over the table. He was like, hey, man, you want to take a hit of this? I was like, yeah, hey, we smoke. I was, like, 22. He was like, oh, man, let's do this. It's fine. We're going to Jackson. I'm like, all right. Which I was driving and I thought it was gonna be a good idea. Uh -huh. So like I get, I'm like I'm just I take a big rip and I'm like, this is stupid. Mm -hmm. And I start driving. I swear to God, uh, it takes about an hour and probably about an hour to get to Jackson from Stockton. It took ten minutes <laughs> in my mind. Oh, how professional! It's fun. <laughs> Who called you? Uh, my boy Dennis. Oh. Shout out to Dennis. Shout out to Dennis Crushfield. You just had a kid. You dead, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but I did. That was really funny. <laughs> all right, all right. So you got you, you got all stoned, and you're driving to Jackson, so you go gamble away your money. Yeah, I gamble away all my money, which mm -hmm. is a theme in my life, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably why we're out here. Eat, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Chap lips. My lips are getting so chapped out here. Yeah, I know. So, no, it, it felt like 15 minutes. Like, it felt uh -huh. like, uh, I don't even know. Like, I was so high. I remember been, oh, he left a message and everything. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, and when I was there, uh, I guess I felt it appropriate to uh, hit on every single blackjack dealer that I was that was there, male or male female. Or female. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of them had so, like, like, this white guy. No, no, like, yeah, the eye patch. No, the white. This so like I was really hitting on this white guy, like this, this white dealer, really making him uncomfortable. And he, <laughs> to a point where he was just like, 
oh, when's the next dealer coming in? You know, like uh -huh. I, I just kept. I was like, dude, you got a, you got a nice ass. Like the whole time, I was uh -huh. fucking high. I don't, a matter of fact, I don't even think I was high. I, I was just gay for one were, night. You really <laughs> yeah. high? were you really high? Were you really high? This isn't even a weed story. Like, this, no is just, I'm just high. this was like yesterday. <laughs> you were just, trying, just doing this. It wasn't at a casino. Yeah, yeah. It was like at Safeway. I yeah. stepped out. I stepped out at Luna's for a bit, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking to Josh Vigil. <laughs> Jaws v hell. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus! There's so many bugs. Yeah, and actually one of the other monitors that you have out here just went out, so it's a little darker. So this is the wind. Yeah. <laughs> the wind just killed it. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like fucking Jurassic Park. Yeah, I think it's like freaking big ass. I, 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 I think we're going to end the podcast pretty soon. Yeah. I hope yeah. So. Uh, Before some killer knocks story? over the camera. Is that the first time you got high? That's the first time, the first time I ever got drunk. First time I ever got drunk. Uh, you want to know the first time I ever got drunk? Or you want like the most I've ever drunk? Oh, the first then, time you get this one. Whatever you feel more the comfortable. The first time with. you ever. Well, it's the first time I ever got drunk wasn't even exciting. No, this is what it says. The first time you ever gotten high. Or drunk. First okay. Uh, high. After I worked at John's Incredible Pizza. <laughs> don't do not do that. Don't. So don't nice. do that. It's, it's so cold out here. It's so so uh, Is that cold out here? I'm pretty cold. Is it really? Yeah. I'm pretty cold. Anyways, go ahead. You're acting like a bitch right now. Okay. <laughs> right. You know, you don't try to put it on me <laughs> because you have very <laughs> shitty production value going on out here, okay? Try to put it on me. <laughs> Fucking office chairs outside. <laughs> <gasps> uh, yeah, it was a sh after a shift at uh, John's Girl Pizza. Just went over to a friend's house and I drank a shitload of Bacardi. That's mm -hmm. the story you wanted to hear. Didn't didn't do anything. Why did you do it? Were you looking for another reason to hit on dudes? <laughs> No, Why? It, it, this this was him. for the bitch reference, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, that, that's how you, where your last story went. He's just trying to get dudes to hit on him. Yeah. He had his like yeah. bong hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, the whole point of that night was like, I'm gonna lose all my money if I do that. I'm gonna make people uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I did lose all my money that okay, night. Okay, so mm. what's the time that you've drank and um, you, you What's had the most you've ever drank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28 shots. 28, 28 shots. Of what? Mix. I don't remember. Oh, my water God. Is, is a lot of, it was like at least 10 of them in 151. How are you not dead? That is crazy. I have a, a, a lot of storage. large vessel. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. I went that to sleep for 36 hours, though. Oh, so you did die. You just came yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It was at a UC Davis party, and in, instead of my friends, like... Did you uh, go to UC Davis? No. Okay. God, no. <laughs> okay, so you just... <laughs> just hung out with friends who went to UC Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And instead of my friends helping me, all they did was uh, I laid down on the couch, and they put a bunch of fans on me, took a picture, and then put it on collegehumor.com. Uh -huh. That is <laughs> maybe the greatest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. I wish I could have come yeah. up with that idea. <laughs> 28 like, shots. That yeah. is so much alcohol. It's a lot of alcohol. Yeah. It's like it's one of those things where, oh, he, he's had enough. And they're like, no, like, yeah. hey, take a shot with me. You know, because like, at that point, that everyone was drunk. Time, especially yeah. during your birthday. Well, during my birthday, whenever yeah. I went to the bar, they're just like, get him a drink all the time. They're just getting I think, yeah, on my drink. 20, uh, 25th or 26th birthday, I had like eight adioses. I had two two shots of uh, Patron and like three beers, and then after that, the next day, I had fucking I was like sick as a dog. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got colitis. <laughs> oh yeah, he got he got colitis because of drinking so much. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah wow. I didn't know that was like, possible. No, seriously, like the next day and that whole week, I had fucking diarrhea, just like the super mm. bad. And after that, it just never this went away. This is where the show has shifted. It never went away. I think it was all the gay uh, Saul and yeah. diarrhea Nick. I think it was all <laughs> the tequila. It fucking burned my insides. Because scientifically, that's what tequila scientifically, does. Scientifically, it burns. <laughs> scientifically, it gives you colitis. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so were you, how hungover are you when you woke up almost two days later? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I felt good strong. after. Yeah. It's like, oh, that was a really good sleep. You were still on that couch in Davis <laughs> just woke up. <laughs> All but I just, I just like, I imagine the shit that's going around me, just my friends eating eggs, mm -hmm. just me on just, that couch. Just, just the seasons changing. <laughs> yeah. It's like snowing and it's like spring. Friends, <laughs> friends have kids and just tossing them in the air and shit. Kids growing up and moving yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me God. not aging, just <laughs> on that couch. Is that when they take the picture of you? Oh, oh my oh. God! <laughs> the show is over! <laughs> No, seriously. I'm done? Uh, yeah, I'm I think done. we're done. Uh, this is the end of Jug Me Off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do any plugs for, but, uh, for you know, Aragon? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Aragon is gone. Hey, uh, that's been uh, our, our show. Shout, shout with your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout us your... Uh, <laughs> your do you have any shows What's coming up? No no. no, no. Aragon wants to go home. I kind of want to go home. Uh... 
this is <laughs> this is good for a first time. I think it was good. I, I, I I'm like Leo. It. I'm Junior Bruce. This is Leo Zanaga. <laughs> uh, we're uh, no, no. I'm Saul Trujillo. Nick Larson. That's Nick Aragon. I'll go, oh, oh I'm bye bye. He's gone. That's He's a that's our show. Car. We'll see you guys that later. Bug in his face All right, bye bye. So beer grills. <laughs> Jumping out was naked sound.